Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Professional Gamer, uh, with a follow-up video about the Big Mamas. Oh god, thank god, I know you guys were hoping I'd talk about this again. You're in luck, this will be the last time I do talk about it, um, but I just want to cover one more thing, because if these weren't like a publicity grab enough, I mean, surprisingly, instead of owning up to it and being like, okay guys, whatever, you got us, come on in. Hey, instead of being like, okay, guys, you got us. We were just trying to get everybody's attention. No, they've actually doubled down and made it worse, in my opinion. Like, if there was any, like, goodwill or, or good intention, like, oh, haha, ha, this is just a silly joke. Um, they're 1,400. No, they are taking this extremely seriously. Let's look at the amendment made that's here in the About page. So, take note, in my initial video that I up that I uploaded four days ago, uh, this is the about page, you can see it here. This section has been added sometime after my video came out. And it says, you know, I'm not claiming, not claiming that I am the sole reason that this was added. Um, it could be my video and many other things. Uh, but anyway, it says 10% of all proceeds go directly to the women and children in Afghanistan who need our help now via the World Orphanage Foundation run by Sarah or Sara Kazimi. So, uh, and here's the GoFundMe link down there. Also, another amendment that's been made is now it says luxury pants for every booty while giving back. It used to say pants for every booty. So now they're luxury pants, even though the chinos on their website that were like $80 two weeks ago are now 1400 I suppose that by proxy, because the price tag has gone from $80 to 1400 then they become luxury, right? It doesn't matter if they use new materials or if the pants are any better quality. As long as the price tag goes up, then you can call them luxury. Uh, anyway, and now they give back as well. So 10% of the profits from these pants, uh, they're now giving back, which if you're curious, uh, I, I Googled it. I did the math, so you don't have to. Uh, <laughs> and most of us probably would not be able to without the help of Google. 90% of 1400, which is what Big Mama, Big Skate Mommy would be pocketing, that's $1,260, which would mean that she would leave $140 for the people in Afghanistan. Everybody, round of applause. Wow, I mean. Some people are simply born with the burden of having a charitable soul. Yeah, that would be too much to bear for me. I'd cut it down to 5%. I couldn't bear parting with that uh, 140 bucks and only pocketing 1,260 bucks for a pair of pants, I mean. <laughs> also, I mean, <laughs> they've changed this as well. Uh, this is another thing that has changed. Free shipping US orders of $2,000 or, uh, or more. So it used to be $200 that you'd get free shipping, but now the adjusted business strategy of losing uh, that 140 bucks, that has been too much to bear. Uh, only walking away with 1,260, that, that's not enough. We, we can't just cut the uh, $14 for shipping out of that too. No, 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 no. We now have to charge for shipping, unless of course you're willing to buy two pairs of pants. Uh, in, in that case, if you spend $2,000, fine. I guess uh, she's willing to part ways with the $14 or whatever it costs to ship these bad boys. In my opinion, we're coming off as just a little bit greedy here. Anyway, now if you're wondering, you're like, uh, okay, this, this seems like a pretty savvy business move, this little 10% thing, uh, deflecting the criticism. Like, hey, you're really charging $1,400 for a pair of pants? Um, She's had to sit on this for a couple days, and this is the grand scheme that she's come up with. Well, what if I donated 10% uh, to charity? That would sort of absolve me of all criticism or of all wrongdoing for just uh, ridiculously overcharging for skateboarding pants, which have, you know, no brand name recognition or uh, reputation to speak of. L let me give you my theory on how this has all happened and, and how she has arrived at this... Uh, galaxy brain defense technique. Something interesting that was pointed out to me about uh, Mama Skate on Instagram, somebody showed me this. I don't remember who you were, but thank you. 
uh, leave a comment and boast if it were you. And let's just really quick cover the return policy. The return policy lasts 30 days. All purchases are non-refundable. So if you spend $1,400 on the pants and they fall apart within the first five minutes, you can't get your money back. The best you can do is get another pair of shitty pants and you, don't, you, won't, you won't get that $1,400 back. Uh, a little sus, uh, not great business practices in my opinion. It smells a little fishy to me, not going to lie. Here's where it really gets interesting though. We only replace items if they are defective or damaged. If you need to replace an item, send us an email, blah, 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 and send your item to Mama Skate, 2535 East 12th Street, Suite A, Los Angeles, California, 90021. This address may sound just a little bit familiar. So let's Google it. Ah, what do you know? This is the address of the barracks. <laughs> so this whole web of, of companies that barrack, the barracks has spun, Mama Skate is now included. If you're not happy with your uh, Mama Skate pants, you send them back to the barracks. So when I'm talking about this 10% gimmick uh, that, that Mama Skate is, is utilizing, you can see this, this happens with all the companies that have anything to do with the barracks, Karyuma, of course, we know, sort of uses a similar marketing strategy, um, which is that, you know, we're sustainable, our shoes are made out of recycled uh, cow shit, and uh, we plant a tree every time uh, you buy a pair of shoes, blah, 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 blah. We're saving the planet. We're better than everybody else. You know the drill. It's a scapegoat. It's a safety net. No matter how shitty our marketing is or however whack the team of skaters we assemble is, you can always count on somebody on Instagram to stand up and defend these people because they say, oh, well, how can you criticize them when they're uh, sustainable? Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Remember this Tony Hawk thing that I covered last week? Uh, Liquid Death, big barracks endorser, 10% of profits go to good. Thank God for that. Um, who else do we have? The Heart Supply, this thing about creating just the most abhorrent skate teams imaginable. Jagger Eaton is skating for the same board company as Chris Chan. Uh, please twist my nipples, end me. And by the way, do I even have to mention that they sell their boards in Target? Oh, no, 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 but wait, it's fine. A portion of proceeds is used to give skateboards to kids. Never mind. Never mind. I, I regret saying anything. I Jagger Eaton, Chris Chan, put anybody on that team that you want. Nobody's gonna think that it's a uh, it's whack or, or that it's corny when <laughs> when, when you're giving sk skateboards to kids. I mean, I don't even know, I don't know what a portion is. I mean, do they just give one speed ring to kids per ten Jagger Eaton completes that Target sells? I really have no idea. But either way, it's big business. They got their boards in Target. Like I said. I don't want to take full credit for them adding this uh, this new marketing campaign, which is that 10% of proceeds directly help Afghan women plus children. But this was not in the bio prior to my prior to my YouTube video. That is an addition that they have made after the the criticism. And like I said, I don't want to take full credit, but. I think they probably did see my video at the very least because the only reason I'm able to view this account right now is because I'm on my second one on the YouTube account. Uh, I've been blocked, unfortunately. <laughs> so listen, and this brings me to another point, which is that don't harass anybody that I talk about in these videos on Instagram or anywhere else. It's already penance enough to have a YouTube video of a guy screaming at the top of his voice in his room, uh, berating you um, and bemoaning your, your marketing transgressions. That's, that's enough penalty. I don't need any of you guys to go and harass anybody that I mention in these videos, okay? Let's just make that perfectly clear right now. So you might be wondering, how's this fundraiser doing that they're, uh, that they're promoting? Not too good, um, but if any of you guys are feeling generous, you can become the first supporter. So it turns out $1,400 skate pants may not be the best catalyst for social change. Uh, I'll, I'll say that. So basically what I'm telling you is, I think this whole thing is a whole lot of hot air. Um, I don't think anybody involved with this actually cares about making a difference socially. I think this is just a last ditch effort to try to save their image here while they charge absurd prices for all of their all of their items staff picks there are no products 
<laughs> they removed the stickers and shit. They were selling four packs of stickers for 250 bucks. Guess they deleted them. Whoopsie daisy. Um, one person that I did want to point out to you guys um, as somebody that was a mystery to me up until I saw them mentioned here is the skate pussy character, which you're like, skate pussy? What's a skate pussy? Good question. Uh, let's find out. So I took the liberty of doing some Googling and here is an article about the skate pussy who is the sister of Marissa Martinez who who owns Mama Skate. And there's this, I guess this is like some sort of weed publication and they did this sort of faux interview where they keep track of how much weed she smokes uh, on 420. It's a fascinating read if that's your sort of thing. Anyway, there are a couple things in this article that personally I take, uh, you know, some issue with, such as this statement. Lydia is an established professional skateboarder from Long Beach who has skated with the greats, including Tony Hawk. Let me say this right off the bat. Skating with Tony Hawk doesn't mean jack shit. I'm sorry to say it. Tony Hawk is a legend, but you know, Tony Hawk will show up at your son's sixth birthday party for 1500 bucks. He doesn't give a shit anymore. Uh, money talks in, in Tony Hawk's world. So saying that you skated with, with Tony Hawk, it's really not much of an accomplishment. I have no idea if that's true or not. I'm just gonna assume that it is, um, but regardless, it doesn't matter. The more incriminating statement here is that Lydia is an established professional skateboarder. Huh? She's a professional skateboarder? I've never heard of her. And if she was a professional skateboarder that was established, I think I would have heard of her. Cause isn't that what, isn't that what that means? As somebody who covers skateboarding for a living, you would expect that somebody who's established, I would know about them. Having been in existence for a long time and therefore recognized and generally accepted, I don't know about that. Uh, I guess they're banking on people that smoke weed, not knowing anything about skateboarding and just sort of blindly accepting that this person is relevant in the skateboarding universe. Um, but fortunately for people who may just be completely ignorant, such as myself, they have included a skateboarding reel here where we can watch hosted on PeerTube, whatever that is. Um, but be, be advised, you may not wanna click on this video as it says beneath, watching this video may reveal your IP address to others, uh, which is not good. But anyway, let's take a look at our established professional skateboarder here. This is some established music, I'll tell you that. Peep the hill bomb on the right. So we got a nolly to coat toss. Okay. And then, <laughs> I guess we were going too fast, so she stepped on the board to stop and then just galloped into the sunset. Anyway, uh, we don't need to mock this too much, but listen, in my opinion, this is not established skateboarding footage. In fact, if you look at her Instagram page, um, okay, wait, blur, 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 blur. There's a lot of X-rated content on here. Okay, I don't think she has any sponsors uh, to speak of. I mean, unless you wanna say that maybe she gets some free uh, pants from her sister and she makes one t-shirt. I guess that's what being a professional skateboarder means in 2021. I thought that professional skateboarder meant you got paid to skate, but who knows? Uh, I think the uh, the term professional skateboarder has been used and abused and lost some of its uh, initial pizzazz. Anyway, everything she does is focused on skateboarding and her established brand, established brand? Let's look at this established brand, why don't we? Here it is, Skate Pussy, uh, powered by Shopify. You know all the most established brands in the game use Shopify. I use Shopify. Um, but I wouldn't call myself established. I've been making YouTube videos for six months now. Um, hardly established. Here's the item that she sells one t-shirt. Um, looks like it's flying off the shelves. We have every single size available. I, I said last time the uh, Big Mama Skate bikini looked like something you'd find in Target. For this one, I'm feeling more of a youth section Ross 
type of vibe, you know. I could definitely see this in Ross. Not really Target so much because this is a little bit more controversial, a little bit more edgy. It's a mere $60.50. By contrast of the uh, Skate Mama merch, this looks like a steal. Once you add it to cart though, taxes and shipping, it comes out to $70 flat. I already checked. So if you feel that this is uh, worth a $70 investment, by all means, uh, I'll link it in the description so you guys can buy this. Here's uh, probably the spiciest statement of the article, I think. I'm going to make my boards and make myself a pro. I thought you were already pro. I don't get it. I'm going to make my boards and make myself a pro, she said firmly. I'm not going to wait in line for a greasy, wrinkled guy to take a percentage of my board money. Oh, okay. So the actual established professional skateboarders who have had such uh, great careers and have translated those into now business careers, such as Paul Rodriguez with Primitive or Jason Dill with F.A., those guys, in her mind, she doesn't give a shit about their legacy or she doesn't care about what the word established actually means. To her, those are just greasy old guys that are only interested in taking money out of her pocket. She has no appreciation for skateboarding culture or, or skateboarding legacy. In my opinion, all she sees skateboarding is as an opportunity to make money. And that's all she's trying to do through these fake marketing campaigns like they're doing for big mamas. Essentially, they're just sort of taking a big shit on skateboarding and then feigning activism and uh, complaining about being oppressed in the space when they've done, in my opinion, done absolutely nothing to earn any type of recognition in skateboarding. Also, she says, if I'm risking my livelihood, I want to make 100% of my money. I guess faking back Smith grinds for a photo is risking your livelihood. Listen, I've, I've looked at the IG, I've watched the clips. There's a lot of skate park footy of some very low to the ground half cabs and sh this nolly shove it that seems to make its way into every single line. Take a look for yourself. I don't see any death defying feats on here. Uh, no livelihood is being risked. But there you go. Maybe she feels like she's legitimately uh, endangering herself to the point where she needs to start her own board company and make her own and make 100% of the profits on on her pro board because she deserves a pro board. As you can see, she's holding it down for the skate community. Um, I'm building my lemonade stand and y'all can wait in line. I'm afraid to tell you, but nobody's going to be waiting in line for your pro board. <laughs> No matter how many back Smith grinds you you fake, nobody will be uh, nobody will be waiting in line for your board. Just like they're not waiting in line for this skate pussy T-shirt. And if you're thinking about making the transition into the hard goods business, I have to warn you, it's a lot more difficult. It seems like an appealing thing to get into, but if you're having trouble moving soft goods, I highly recommend you don't attempt to start your own skateboarding company. Um, really not a good idea. It's much harder than I think a, a lot of people presume it to be, but you probably wouldn't know that. Da, da, da. Anyway, there's, if you want to finish this article, there's a lot of really fascinating information about smoking weed. The last thing I want to cover on here is this post. And this kind of ties together my whole feeling about this situation, which is on Skate Pussy's Instagram page. And it features Skate Pussy driving in Los Angeles to the song Lose Yourself by Eminem. Great song. Love this song. It's a little outdated at this point. I would say it's more like of an ironic choice, but I think Skate Pussy seems to enjoy it. Wish I could play it for you guys, but you know, copyright. Opening up with a, a shot of the Mercedes logo, followed by uh, these four stickers, which are which is the pack of Mama Skate stickers that you could previously have purchased for $250, a pack of Mama Skate stickers, but no longer available for some reason, not too sure why. Maybe they just sold out, I don't know. However, I will say this to you, Skate Pussy, since I read your article and I know you're leasing this Mercedes, I would recommend against plastering the interior of your leased car with stickers. That's probably not the best idea, could leave some residue behind there. Anyway, we got a dog. Sorry you had to be involved with this. I know you have no idea what planet you're on. Oh, and then we see the Mercedes logo again. 
Uh, just making sure you saw that. Okay, let's stop at the stop sign here. Flip it around. <laughs> Smoke some weed at the stop sign. Listen, if you're gonna flex, that's fine, but there are dangers involved with posting yourself smoking weed and driving. I believe the state of California and probably the United States government recognizes that as a DUI, not something that you want to risk just for a little IG clout, in my opinion. Oh, third time, I mean two times, not really enough, just, just totally making sure you realize that she's driving Mercedes. Now we can progress through the stop. Now, if that video wasn't entertaining enough on its own, and believe me, all of this to me is just entertainment. I'm not, like as I said, don't go harass these people. I merely think this is funny. Skateboarding is gonna be totally fine as a result of this kookery. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, this is just for entertainment purposes only, guys. Understand that. Let's read these hashtags. Hashtag cannabis, hashtag activist, hashtag support, hashtag Latina, hashtag women, hashtag Afghanistan women. What? Afghanistan women? What do they have to do with this? Hashtag Afghanistan, hashtag America, hashtag richest, hashtag country, hashtag in the hashtag world. You might be thinking, what do Afghanistan women have to do with this? We know skate mama's donating 140 bucks per 1,260 bucks that she makes to this uh, organization that has raised zero dollars so far. So that's what she's talking about. Remember that I said that I showed you when I uploaded this video on September 7th, there was no mention of donating any money anywhere. They were just selling these pants for 1400 bucks. Not on the, the website bio, nor was it on the IG bio. So this video was posted August 20, 22nd. So we're getting hashtag Afghanistan women, hashtag Afghanistan, before they were even donating or claiming to donate any money to a charitable organization. Uh, so she's literally just hashtagging hashtag Afghanistan women and hashtag Afghanistan onto a video of her smoking weed in Los Angeles in her leased Mercedes Benz. And somehow this is activism. Personally, I don't see the connection. I'm not, I'm, I'm not seeing it. I think that associating yourself with imagery of people, this was happening at the time that this was posted around August 22nd, of people attempting to escape Afghanistan by grabbing onto plane wings and falling 100 feet to their death. Uh, I guess Skate Pussy sees it as prudent to hashtag Afghanistan and hashtag Afghanistan women uh, to this video of her smoking weed in her Mercedes to the song Lose Yourself living quite lavishly, if I do say so myself, albeit a complete fake out for social media. Um, regardless, uh, the imagery is really not too good. So we just have a baseless association made between these two things, which, you know, if you found that a little bit offensive, I don't blame you. And I would wager that if you did find this a bit offensive, you might not be the only one, considering that the comments have been turned off on this video. It tickles me that she reminds you that America is the richest country in the world, yet she is driving a Mercedes in Los Angeles, as if she's not completely complicit in the, lu in the luxury that we all enjoy uh, by living in the United States, those of us that do. I, I don't really know what, sh what she's on about and how uh, she sees herself as helping by posting this video or adding these hashtags. I believe a lot of people like to refer to this as performative activism, but there you go. That's just how I see it. Maybe there's something very moving and very legitimate about this video. Um, but basically this whole, this whole skate mama universe is a gold mine of content. And honestly, you know, I could go over it a bunch, but I don't really see much point. Um, I just think that at some point or another, this type of thing, like, Listen, you can only fly under the radar for for so long until somebody with a YouTube channel is gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? Um, I'm not saying she's a bad person. Unless there's something I'm missing here, this reads as pretty unacceptable in my opinion. And it just so happens to fall under the umbrella of skateboarding since that seems to be the particular industry that they're trying to break into with their $1,400 skate pants. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Go buy some $1,400 
big mamas. And I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.